This webinar is titled Unrestricted Warfare, 25 Unconventional Battle Spaces. Your red pill rabbit hole. Now that we're down there, let's take a look around. Well, we're taking a look at these layers of infiltration and subterfuge with a focus on the book, Unrestricted Warfare. I want to provide some additional insight and quotes. The battlefield is next to you and the enemy is on the network. Only there's no smell of gunpowder or the odor of blood. However, it is a war as before because it accords with the definition of modern warfare, forcing the enemy to satisfy one's own interests. Up till now, most people involved in warfare considered all the non-military domains where they were as being accessories to serve military needs. It's now time to correct this mistaken trend. The great fusion of technologies is impelling the domains of politics, economics, the military, culture, diplomacy, and religion to overlap each other. The connection points are ready, and the trend towards the merging of the various domains is very clear. Add to this the influence of the high tide of human rights consciousness on the morality of warfare and warfare is evolving into something brand new and different. There's new battle spaces. All of these things are rendering more and more obsolete the idea of confining warfare to the military domain and of using the number of casualties as a means of the intensity of a war. So in other words, casualties no longer mean anything in this new domain, but controlling your enemy does. Warfare is now escaping from the boundaries of bloody massacre and exhibiting a trend towards low casualties or even none at all, and yet high intensity. This is information warfare, financial warfare, trade warfare, and other entirely new forms of war. In this sense, there is now almost no domain which does not have warfare's offensive pattern. Well, here are 25 battle spaces in these new realms of war. Information warfare, psychological warfare, media warfare, cyber warfare, cultural warfare, race warfare, institutional warfare, infrastructure warfare, political warfare, biochemical warfare, Scientism experts warfare, economic warfare, diplomatic warfare, trade warfare, financial warfare, ecological warfare, smuggling warfare, drug warfare, resources warfare, international law warfare, terror warfare, guerrilla warfare, space warfare, atomic warfare, and civil unrest and mob warfare, to name a few. 25 new battle spaces of unrestricted warfare. Let me give you some examples of how this operates in these new battle spaces. Psychological warfare against military families, assassinations against financial leaders, importing drugs or smuggled goods, special funds for lobbying and bribery, buying and controlling stocks, buying and controlling farmland and real estate, buying a stake in a country's papers, television, and media, buying a stake in academia to indoctrinate students and to influence culture, cultural infiltration, undermining a nation's history and culture. These are just some of the new warfare tactics in this new battle space. Future war will be conducted in non-war spheres. This notion sounds strange and is difficult to accept, but more and more signs indicate that this is the trend. Winning military victories in non-military spheres and winning wars with non-war means is now a reality. Whoever wants to have victory in future wars must be fully prepared intellectually for this scenario. That is to be ready to carry out war which, affecting all areas of life of the countries involved, may be conducted in a sphere not dominated by military actions. Many professional military people will not be able to make this leap in thinking even if they spent the rest of their lives working on it. Tremendously profound thoughts. Give me 10 carefully chosen hackers, and within 90 days, I would then be able to have this nation lay down its arms and surrender. We are indeed deep into the rabbit hole. This is U.S. Civics Training. Thanks for listening.